Hi guys, it's RLC321 back again. And, <clears throat> excuse me, first off, I have to apologize for not putting up as many videos as I normally do. Um, been really hectic with work and just life in general. Um, I've also been getting involved in helping a friend make a costume out of foam. Um, I'm not going to do any videos on that. I'm, I might just post a quick video on what it looks like afterwards. Um, she's having a Gundam Honu costume. It's not going to be perfect. She doesn't want it to be perfect and exact. So it's not going to be exact. It's not going to be to scale, but it's going to look cool. Um, I'm actually working on a Robocop costume myself. Again, made out of foam. So, what have we got today? For today, we have got some unboxings. I've got a few model kits in. And I'm going to start with the newest one. And to do that, I'm gonna start with this bad boy. There. Now it's very difficult to see because it's a really big ass box, but it's the Ale Strike Gundam head desktop model by BTF. I've already taken it out of the box, um, just because the box is so big and I can't fit everything on. On there, there, there gives you an idea how big the box is and it's it's a big ice box so we're gonna have a look see what's inside you have the manual which I'll go into a bit more detail in a minute and I've already I've got the parts next to me just to make it a bit easier now what I've noticed here there is some clear parts but these clear parts are also part of the white parts so I thought that was a pretty cool addition into that. So anything that's that's white, you could actually see through it if you wanted to see all the inner workings and all the detail that you're going to be doing. So that's pretty good. I mean, the detail on it is extremely well done. I don't know if we can get a nice little close up there a little bit, but it's extremely, extremely well done there. So that's those. Got another bag of clear parts. It's looking good. Again, the detail on it, it looks really, really nice. And hang on. Yeah, get off, cat. Go on, keep going. Keep going. No, don't just stop there. Keep, keep going. Move, move your backside. Thank you. And it looks not on here, yeah, on here. Some of these parts are actually undergated. Um, if you're not sure what undergating is, let me just very quickly see if I can show you. If I can get it out of the bag, why don't I have my knife handy when I need it? Hang on, I've got a blade here. Let's grab a blade. Let's see if I can show you this way. Undergating, let's see if we can get up a close and personal. Yeah, come on. You can actually see where the nub, um, where's a pointing, pointing stick? Give me a pointing stick, that'll do. Where the nub here is actually on this edge, instead of being on the side like it normally is, it's actually on the edge. And I've noticed that some of these parts have it, some of these don't. But still, that's quite good. I, I do like undergates because it makes for a much nicer clean and a lot less clean up time. This looks like a stand. Yeah, it looks like a stand there and some side parts and neck parts. I think that's the back of a head. And some more inner frame parts. I mean, look. Let's see if we can get. Look at the detail in that. That's just awesome, isn't it? Yes, it's awesome. Come on, you know you want to say it's awesome. You really, really do. Now we've got some blue parts, some more clear parts in there, some yellow. And obviously this is all going to be painted. <clears throat> now, we have this. 
chrome. I really, really do not like chrome pieces, especially when you put it together and they're going to be, you're going to be seeing the bits where you've cut off. Now, hopefully, that could be hidden away. Because some of these parts are actually undergated, and I think the what the parts that are undergated, like like here, which is what you're going to be seeing outside, these are actually undergated. So I don't know if you can see that there. Am, am I even in the right bit? Let me see that bit there. Yeah, that bit there. As you can see, that nub is undergated right there. So unless it's parts that are not showing, that are not undergated, I don't know. But. Um, if it's going to be showing, then I'm just going to strip it with some caustic soda and get rid of this chrome and just paint it myself. Because I might even do that anyway, because instead of silver, I want a nice gold finish inside here. I don't know yet, I haven't figured that out, because I haven't figured out the logistics of painting this bad boy yet. Now I've got some red and white parts. As you can see, it does look really, really nice. Sink you? What is sink you? That should, I don't know if that should say sink you, should it? I'm not sure, I'll have to look into that. Uh, what I'm talking about is right here. Um, if it will focus, there it is. It says sink you. And I don't really know what that means. We've got... Some more white parts to say, the white parts that we just looked at and these white parts are also available in clear. Um, I'm tempted to do one side, half of it in clear and half of it not. I don't know yet, I'll figure that out soon. Just, just putting it out there, it, you never know, it might look cool to see the inner workings of it and things like that. But it does, it, it looks really good so far. Some more black pieces. This is there, and as you can see, the detail on it looks really, really nice. And yes, I am aware I'm still need to finish all my other, a couple of my other um, desktop models as well. Now, oh, look at the inner detail on that. This is going to have loads of fun painting this. And we could really, really just go to town. That's why I think. I'm thinking of putting half of it as clear and half of it not. You know, I, as I say, I haven't figured it out yet. I'll see what it looks like both ways. Right. Now, I actually got this kit. Um, not this, got not got it from, but he actually helps me order it for me because I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, <clears throat> a guy called Richard Flanagan on on Facebook. On uh UK Gunpla buy and sell. He was able to help me get it for me because I just I couldn't say I couldn't find it anywhere. We also have some water slide decals, which do look really really nice. Um, I would have thought there would have been a lot more, um, but still, get what we get. Might see if I can find some aftermarket ones or spare ones I've got and just plaster some on there as well. That would be cool. Get in there, in, 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 in. Thank you. So there's the decals. Now, what else have we got in here? We've got a little box. Ah, this should be some springs and LEDs, which seem to be be all wired up and ready to go and you just connect it connect the LEDs to these parts here that's that's pretty good uh, there's four LEDs in there it looks like it's taking two AAA batteries and there's the switch I won't know whether it's working yet or not but yep that's the LEDs And this guy, Richard, he, he's a brilliant guy. He's, he's just 
I've just noticed he has put in some keyring fobs that I know he has made, and he s he etches these in. Um, he does these himself, and I think they look absolutely amazing. So yes, I'm going to plug the fact that he does these himself. He also does ones where they can illuminate on a base. Um, so if you're interested in anything like this, hit him up over on um, UK Gunpla Buy and Sell, and he'll be able to sort you out with these. He does quite a lot of this stuff, and he's, as you can see, it's absolutely brilliant. But no, let's probably get it in shot. Looks really, really good. I didn't even expect these to be in there. I didn't even know they were going to be in there. So thank you very much, Richard, for that. I really appreciate it. I, I like freebies. Freebies are awesome. Right, now, that doesn't end there. What do you mean that doesn't end there, I can hear you say? No, I can't hear you say that because I'm over here and you're over there. Let me just put these back in because I'm going to be doing the, the manual next. No, it doesn't end there. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you why. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you it before I do the manual. Cause I'm not finished with this kit. No, 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 no. Not by a long shot. No. Because you can buy. Let me just move that out of the way there. You can buy the cockpit for it. <laughs> yes. Oh, so oh dear. Small things really please me. <laughs> and yes, you, you've got decals and stickers that light up the the cockpit as well inside. It's like, oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, good. Shut up, Bob. Anywho. Um, so, yeah, I've got the cockpit for it as well. It, the, it came as um, I asked to get both of them, at, and he down me a really good price on there. So I'm just going to put that down here, and let's get the... I have taken these out of the boxes already just to make my life a little bit easier. Um, let's put this on the floor. And let's see what we got. We got a manual. And I know inside the manual, because I've already taken it off, here are the decals. These are the, the clear ones, the clear decals. And these are the other, well, they're not decals, they're actually stickers. But still, it's going to look good on there. I'm just going to put this back in here to keep them safe and then I'll we'll have a look at the manual later when we look at the other manual. And we have the starting of the cockpit part. It's got white and black here. And oh, there's even a... Ah, awesome. There's a figure of Amuro... Uh, not Am oh, good goodness me. Amuro Ray. No, 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 no. Hero Yamat. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm getting all of my... Gundam guys mixed up Hero Yamato. Kira Yamato. Goodness me. Oh, it's a Friday. I've just finished work. Let's put it there. Leave it there. Okay. So, yeah, you actually got the figure that's going to sit inside the cockpit as well. That's bloody awesome. Yeah, so we've got that bit there. Then we've got the blue parts, which one of them looks like it's, yeah, it's definitely come off. But not an issue. Not an issue for me at all. Some more black and clear blue parts here. Oh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this build. I'm even tempted to put my Gundam Unicorn on hold. I haven't actually done much of that lately because I've been really busy. Uh, some more black parts there. And red parts. And also, the white box. You know what the white box means? It means LED time. Oh, and they're different LEDs. Again, AAA batteries. And it looks like it's got the micro LEDs in here. No idea where they're going to go yet. But we'll soon figure it out when we put it together. So there's that there. Right, so let's put this back in the in this box here and then I can s we can have a look at the closer look at the, the manuals right. is even 
or do they look like boobies? Oh, it's just me. Okay. Yep, yeah, it's just me. I got dirty mind. Yeah, but I love it. Right. Anyway, so manuals. We're going to go with the main the the, the main strike head manual first. Don't even think about it. No, 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 no. That patch. No, you're not jumping up here. Right. So here we get our parts layout and LEDs. You've got two different sizes of springs. That's pretty good. And he's decided to jump. No, 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 no. Patch. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Right. So actually, the clear parts and that is are not actually shown on here. It's just showing you the white parts. Now that is interesting. So they must have thrown them in there as as a freebie. Again, I love freebies. Freebies are just awesome. Right. So. Then it looks to be we're starting on the head and where to put the LED and the other LEDs. It looks to be a fairly simple build, to be fair. And, and I know um, Prime92 has done a review on this as well. And this is what the finished product is going to look like. You can take it all, uh, pull all the bits and pieces off, you know, like, like here, as you can see here from these two pictures. And then one to the chest unit or neck unit. And then once we've finished that, we're on to the base. Which will be these parts here, I think. Or just these part, this part, this part of the base. And where to actually connect the wires once it's all in place. And just to show you a quick wire di a diagram of the wire, how to transform the bits, where the decals go. And that's it. So that's the manual for that one. Let's have a look at the manual for the cockpit. Now I know the cockpit, there's there's parts on there once you finish building it that you don't have to take off at the bottom to put it on here. Yes, because I watched Prime 92's uh, video of it, so. But this is a, a foldy, an unfoldy type one. So here's your parts list of all the parts that are there. Let's go over this bit here. How to put Kira Yamato together. Oh, yeah, I got it right. And continuing on with just building the cockpit, where to put the LEDs. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, where's, where's, there's another bit somewhere, I know there is. There it is. And there's the, the rest of the the build of it and how to undo the the cockpit and where to put the LEDs. This is where it looks like it's going. Right, so what else is there on here? There's got to be more. So there's the... what those stickers will look like when it's on. I have to admit, it does look really, really good, and I'm almost positive you can. It lights up, but don't quote me on that. Cause I'm not a hundred percent sure. But where's the rest of the decals are going? That's one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's that's, that's those four. One, two. One, two, three, and that's four. So where is five, six, and seven going? 
unless it's in somewhere in the actual build, which no doubt it will be. Let's see. See if it says anywhere in here. Ah, yeah, here we go. This is where the it's telling you put these decals, but it's it's got a weird thingy. Oh wait, no, five, six, and seven. Okay, that so that five, six, and seven goes onto the back of this ball thing, on top of the LEDs. So I'm wondering if that's there to hold them in place. Yeah, possible. But yeah. So anyway. That's the manual for the cockpit. Oh, let's put these decals, stickers back in because I don't want to lose it. Right. Well, there we go. That's the first unboxing of the... Oh, what is it? What scale is it again? It's a 124 scale. Yep. 1 by 124 scale of the L-Strike Gundam Head Desktop Model. Okay, so anyway... Look out for my next video, uh, which is going to be another unboxing video, because I've got a few to do here, which is going to be the Full Armor Unicorn by T.T. Hongli. Okay, so anyway, this is RLC321 saying goodbye. Thank you very much again for, for, for Richard Flanagan for getting me this. I really appreciate it. Um, brilliant guy. Um, but thank you very much again, mate, and I will catch you all later. Hope you have a good one. This is RLC321 three two one saying goodbye